Hello, my name is Ken Clarkson. I'm joined by AWF heavyweight champion, Chubby Depp, and his challenger for this Saturday, February 25th, at AWF Triumph at the Phoenix Beer Company, a former Unleashed champion and a former two-time and the first ever AWF heavyweight champion, Chris Evans. We had an AWF Triumph with a battle between two of the biggest names in Arizona wrestling, finally colliding for the most coveted prize in all of Arizona, the AWF Heavyweight Championship. The tension between these two has been building since the match has been announced. Mr. Depp has been playing practical jokes on Mr. Evans, such as leaving Skittles on his vehicle and even distracting Mr. Evans at the Arizona Beer Fest, costing him a match against AWF State Champion, Paradox. Mr. Evans, has that affected your temperament heading into this match? You damn right it's affected my temperament. As a matter of fact, it's pissed me off. As far as I'm concerned, Chubby Depp has signed his own death warrant. You th I'm glad you think it's funny playing all these jokes on me because all you've done is make it worse. Because karma's a bitch. And come this Saturday, all those pranks, all those funny little things you think you're doing, it's gonna come back to you tenfold. I promise you that. Mr. Depp, do you feel like these have been appropriate things to do to Mr. Evans? You're damn right I feel like these are appropriate, baby. At house party, what I thought was going to be just straight competition failed to exist. Because what does Evans do like he always does? He takes the easy way out. He low blows me. And that's how he takes the victory, the cheap victory. And he hasn't said a word since. I am the AWF heavyweight champion. He, of all people, should be taking me serious. He, of all people, should know the battles that I've been in to keep this championship. So if there's a way that I'm going to get his attention, I'm going to do it. Oh, really? Oh, really? The battles you've been through, like what? A chubby chip challenge? Really? How about the battles I've been through? Huh? Ladder matches, no holds barred, street fights. Yeah, all those times I made a vented over you? Yeah. And we're, and you know what? And let's talk about battles. Because the way I see it, everybody that has stepped up to me is gone. Yeah, where's Awesome Andy? Yeah, I broke his knee. Yeah, where's Alex Sawyers? Yeah, I broke his foot. Two of the top names to ever set foot in the Arizona Wrestling Federation are gone. They're home. Why? Because of me. What have you done? Yeah, what battles have you been through to prove yourself? The man Johnny? that ended your second title reign, baby. I beat him. I went through that battle. Yeah, well, he ain't me. Yeah, and exactly, just like you say, those people that you named, they ain't Chubby Depp. And you haven't been in the ring one-on-one -on -one with Chubby Depp. I ain't the little boy that you used to know, Chris. We're about to. I'm not the little boy that you used to know, baby. All right, Mr. Depp. As we all know, you were trained by Mr. Evans. Do you feel you've learned what you need to actually defeat Mr. Evans at AWF Triumph? I'm glad you bring that up. I'm really glad you bring that up because yes, I was trained by Chris Evans. And as they say, he taught me everything that I know, but he didn't teach me everything that he knows. That is true. Have I learned everything? No. But am I going into a wrestling match? No, I'm going in there to a fight. I'm going in there to keep this championship. And I will do whatever it takes, Chris, Crystal Ball. I will do whatever it takes to keep this championship. You keep calling me names, see what happens this Saturday. That's on you your birth what? certificate, Go ahead. baby. It's keep, on your birth certificate. Keep calling me names and see what happens this Saturday. And, I, and you know what? You're exactly right. What could you have possibly learned from me in the year that I trained you? I've been wrestling 16 freaking years. 16 years of experience wrestling everywhere. Wrestling some of the top names on the independent scene, including Chris Masters, who I beat. And I'll tell you right now, there is no way in hell I could teach you 15 years of what's up here 
in the year that you've trained under me. You have no idea what I'm going to bring this Saturday. You haven't seen this Chris Evans before. In fact, you've never been in the ring with a more dangerous opponent than me up until this Saturday. And you're going to find out what it means to actually be in a main event against a main event player. Because make no mistake about it, Chubby Depp, under your title reign alone, by this Saturday, how many main events would I have main evented under your illustrious title reigns? Come this Saturday, that'll be my fourth. I'm going to slap the taste out of your mouth this Saturday, Chris. I'm going to slap the taste out of Bring your it. mouth. Bring it. We'll see. We'll see. All right, one final question. I can sense the animosity between you two, but even as his trainer, Mr. Evans, do you feel any sense of pride in you that your students reached the same level of success that you once reached yourself? First off, watch your damn mouth. I didn't mean any offense. The same success as me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like I said, have you been the Unleashed Champion? No. Have you won the AWF title two times? No. I'm going on my third the way I see it. Same success my ass. You call that success? You call having a championship, the championship of AWF and letting the undercard main event over you four times? But you know what? It's not just you, Chubby. It's not just you that I constantly main event over without the most prestigious prize in all of Arizona. Every champion before you, I've main evented over at least once. And there's a reason why, because I am the man and I don't need some shiny belt around my waist to prove it. I prove it day in and day out. Every time I set foot in that ring, the AWF management knows I'm going to deliver. And that is why I constantly main event over champions such as yourself. It makes no difference who the champion is. Everybody in that locker room, all of the AWF marks, know that Chris Evans is the man. And there's two things you, you, and the rest of the AWF fans can do about it. Nothing and like it. Here's the thing, Chris. Here's the damn thing. I have all the respect in the world for you, a true champion you are. Do I have to like you? No, which I don't. You know why I pride myself on being the AWF champion? Because yes, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, you were the first AWF champion. But it's people like you that have held back every new wrestler that steps through that curtain. It's people like you that step on people's throats to step and to stay on the top. And I pride myself because I'm the symbol of hope, baby. I'm the symbol, I'm the example that anybody with hard work, with dedication, with the drive can be the man because you're not the man, I'm the man. And I can't lose to you this Saturday, Chris. I can't lose to you. Because if I lose to you, Chris, not only do I lose this championship, not only do I let myself down, not only do I let every AWF fan down, I let all the boys and all the girls in the back down. That's what happens. We're not moving into the next 10 years. We're taking three steps back, 10 years into the past, if you win, Chris, and I'm not gonna let that happen. Well, I'm telling you right now, you call yourself a symbol of hope. In the multiverse, where there is an infinite amount of possibilities, there is not one, not one possibility where you come out of this Saturday as champion. I'm gonna have to find out, Chris. Yeah, we're gonna have to find out. Yeah, you wanna find out right now? We can find out right now if you want. If you want, we don't have to wait till Saturday, Chris. We don't have to wait till Saturday, Chris. We don't have to wait.
Do something. Gentlemen, that's all the time we have. this crap. I don't need to be here. Waste of my time. I'm gonna beat that man's ass. Mr. Evans, thank you, Mr. Depp. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you February 25th, this Saturday, at AWF Triumph.